So, when you work with a recall line, <clears throat> there's just a couple of points that you might want to take into consideration. They can be quite cumbersome to work with if, you, if you're not practiced in what you do. And obviously there's a couple of um, health and, and safety issues involved as well. Um, entangling in the dog in the line, uh, tripping up yourself, um, a multitude of possible um, problems that you might encounter if you use them incorrectly. The first thing that I would like to point out is that quite often um, there is no loop at the end of the recall line. So what I would suggest is that you make yourself a loop within the recall line and then in a safe way hold your recall line just as I would advocate you hold any lead with your hand going through the loop closing like that. There's no way that the dog can pull the, the, the lead out of your hand. As opposed to doing this, and the dog all of a sudden bolts, and the line is gone. So the same thing applies with your recall line. So hand through the loop, secure it like that. So now the recall line, which is a piece of, of kit that I use quite regularly, um, when my dogs are up on the beach or they want to go and swim, Mr. Darcy likes to go into the water, I will use the recall line. It is also, as the, as the name recall um, suggests, it is a brilliant tool for you to teach recall when you still want that security of knowing that the dog is at the other end of the line. So, just got Mr. Darcy here visiting us. Um, what do we do? How do we hold the recall line to start off with? Well, once you have your hand through the loop, this is what you do. Take the line with your right hand, if your lead is in the loop is on your left hand. Bend it over your hand, like that, and then like that again. Okay, so you start, lead in your hand, in your hand again. Loop, loop. Loop, 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 until you're at the end of the recall line. So as you can see, all the loops fit in the palm of my hand. It isn't a scenario where I go like this and I hold the recall line. Huge health and safety risk there. Um, you can really injure yourself like that and, and you've got no control, okay? Um, so definitely not this. Okay. Why do we do it like that? When you send your dog away or your dog starts running or you go play fetch or whatever and the dog runs, the line will extend and have a look at what happens with the line. It basically just slips through your hand okay, until it's at the end of the line. And then you want your dog back you loop it again, loop, 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 until you get to the end of the line. Okay, everything there, and again, as the dog runs, it will just slip out of my hand. There's no risk of me getting injured um, if I do this correctly. And then when you want the dog back, you will get very proficient in looping it. Just practice. Practice without a dog. There you go. And you're ready to go again. Okay. So in slow-mo again. Loop. 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 And that is the correct way to use a recall line.